What is going on, Swoopers? Welcome back to another episode of Swoop Luke. In this episode, we'll be talking about the team sheet. Let's get into it. So, Collingwood take on the Doggies tomorrow night. Uh, for Collingwood, who came in? So, we had Jordan Dugowie come in, and it's not every day that you get your best player or one of your best players come back into the team, slot right in. We know that um, he was out for three weeks with that hit um, on that West Coast player, uh, which is unfortunate, but the rules are the rules. We get him back. He does a mini preseason or whatever you like to call it because, you know, we had the buy-in there, so it was a really four weeks out. But he looks fit. He looks good. He's training well, um, and he's going to slot right into that team. And then we have Ash Johnson come in. I'll talk a little bit more about that, but then... Uh, uh, a little bit later, and then we have uh, Trumpianko as uh, confirmed as our sub. So coming out of the team is Braden Maynard, Brody Mycheck, and Harvey Harrison. Now, our outs. Braden Maynard, a sore shoulder, has been nursing it for, for quite some time. This is effectively a rest. Um, he did injure it last week, but it's effectively a rest. Mycheck was cleared of any hamstring strain, which is great news because if Mycheck goes down... He's like the captain of the ship. He's definitely the captain of the forward line. Um, if my check goes down, the whole ship goes down with him. So it's good that it's not a hamstring strain, but they're going to give it um, a week to rest up. We'll find out a little bit more about that, I dare say, Tuesday or Wednesday next week uh, and see how that goes. And then Harvey Harrison, who was a sub last week, came on for a little bit. Amazing. Like He, he debuted, I think it was the West Coast game that he, that he debuted, or the week before. But anyway, he's played about four or five games, so... Credit to him, um, he, he's done the best that he could. Could have been, um, not, not even a little bit better, but he, he did what he could. He's, he's a young kid, he's still learning the game, and he, he gets four or five AFL games under his belt, which is absolutely huge for him and huge for his confidence. But he goes back into the twos to get some form because he's been sub for the last two weeks, I'm pretty sure, or thereabouts. So he go to the, to the VFL, um, bring some form back and maybe get picked up later on in the year. But, you know, Harvey Harrison, good on you. Um, an absolute fair effort and fair crack to you, mate. Now, coming in, we talked about Jordan Dugowie. That is huge for us, right? Our huge clearance player down the middle. What I love about Jordy is that he's a goal-kicking mid, and it's not even that he can kick goals, you know, from the middle. His um, inside 50 kick and hitting a target is probably only second to Patrick Lipinski, really. Um, and not even just inside 50, just hitting any target. He is so good by foot, and we really have missed that these last few weeks without him. You know, like the Adelaide game, we could have used him uh, in the middle. Would have been, you know, would have been cool to, to sort of have him there commanding uh, where the ball's going inside 50 and stuff like that. So Jordan Ngoi back is absolutely huge. Now, the big one for me, and, and a lot of you guys as well, is Ash Johnson coming back into the side. Now... Ash Johnson, we've all 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 seen that little uh, little video that that uh, he'd had against Frankston. He shows the the other team the ball, uh, tries to take a bounce, messes the bounce up, gets dacked pretty much, gets done holding the ball, and then the Frankston guys get into him. Now a lot of you in the comments are saying that'll teach him he he shouldn't be getting called up because of that, um, etc. etc. He was dropped to the VFL because he needed a little bit of form. Um, and he probably would have stayed in the VFL for a couple more weeks. But Myocek goes down. Our big forward goes down. Kruger is concussed. Dan McStay has to make his way through the VFL, see if his hand is um, up to it. And who else is left? Ash Johnson. You know, people are saying, oh, no Myocek, let's bring Guinea in. Let's bring Guinea in. Who are you going to bring? If you bring Guinea in, who is going to be your big key forward? Billy Frampton. Mason Cox maybe when he goes down there a little bit. You still need someone as that second or third folly to a Billy Frampton or to a Mason Cox slash Darcy Cameron. Still need a big guy there. And Ash Johnson, he's not the tallest or the biggest full forward, but he is very athletic, very good mark overhead. This forward line will be his. Without my check, this is the game where Ash Johnson needs to step up. He you know, sometimes he, look, admittedly, sometimes he does go missing in the big games or he won't clunk those marks when we really need him to. But other times he's really, really good. At, and we've seen glimpses of what he can be and how good he can be. Um, this is the game where he has to grab the dog by the leash 
and absolutely put it to them. I want to see him have a... Would, would a breakout game... Would, is that the word I'm looking for? I guess he's had a couple of, of those games, but maybe this is the day that Ash Johnson kicks four goals or, or something. He's going to be the main focal point uh, of of our uh, of our back line, oh, sorry, of our forward line. The Western Bulldogs' back line without Liam Jones is a little bit shaky, so maybe we can exploit that. But Ash Johnson coming in, he probably should have had another couple of weeks in the VFL. But injuries happen, he gets a chance, take the dog by the leash. The last guy coming in is Trent Bianco as the sub, as, as a named sub. What did you guys say? Finn McRae, Finn McRae. I understand that, right? Braden Maynard comes out, so Markov, you think, would probably slot into that Braden Maynard spot. Trent Bianco has done a lot of things right in, in the VFL. He plays off that halfback role, can push into the into the wing a little bit, uh, a side bottom protege uh, along with Ed Allen. Um, I love I love Bianco, I really do. I really do. You know, last year he he strung a couple of games together where it was really nice. Remember, he had that kick to Jamie Elliott that was really really good uh, against Essendon in that in that uh, in that game we all know and love, which is nearly a few weeks off from being one year. Um, so Bianco does a lot of nice things. He just has to migrate his VFL form into the AFL, which I think he can do. And I really do believe in him. I really do believe that he has a future in this club. I think he's coming up to the end of his contract this year. Correct me if I'm wrong. So he, he, he is going to want to put his best foot forward because what might happen is he might have a really amazing game tomorrow night but he won't play next week because Braden Maynard comes back in. To me, you're probably thinking, oh, but he needs consistency. I think that's good. If you can prove that you can go from the VFL into the AFL, play a really good game, they'll keep you on the list because you're that depth player because when you're needed, when the troop is needed, you know, you'll get called back up. Kind of like Rusko when Nathan Murphy went down. Rusko, I had no faith in him going into Anzac Day. He comes in, plays at a phenomenal game, um, and, and and really, really helps us win that game. He really does help us win the game. Same with Will Kelly that game. So these guys, I think they just need to prove that they can play. Finn McRae, talked about him before. It sucks because he's so good in the VFL. When he comes into the AFL, when we've seen that, he just doesn't bring that form. Obviously, he's a better player now than he was last year. Maybe he gets his chance soon. Maybe, maybe, maybe he gets his chance soon. Maybe it's against Fremantle next week. Who knows? Um, you just It just sucks. It, it, it sucks. But you just have to bide your time, unfortunately. When you're winning a lot of games, when your midfield is, you know, a clean bill of health, touch wood, touch wood, it just means that you just got to bide your time. And unfortunately, that's what's happening with Finn McRae. But all in all, I love these um, inclusions. With, with the guys, I don't like the... Out, I was going to say outclusions. I don't like the guys going out, um, you know, the injuries and stuff, but I do like the guys coming in. I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10, mainly because I would have liked Ash Johnson to stay in the VFR for a little bit, and I would have liked Dan McStay to come back in, but I get it. I understand. Ash Johnson needs to come in because he's the only fit full forward that we have. Dan McStay needs to be in the VFR, so that's why I'm giving it a 7.5 out of 10 for my uh team rating let me know your thoughts down below what more do you want to see from these sort of team talk videos let me know everything down below but until then like comment subscribe tell your family tell your friends tell your best and until next time double shakers i'll see you later